I'm honestly surprised that this island lasted as long as it did considering the amount of intrusive thoughts I have on a daily basis, but it's time for it to go. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Listen, I can only be strong for so long. That sounds like a song. See me on Slam Poetry Wednesdays. Oh my god, she's making it so hard to delete everything. I am a big sappy bitch, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye to everyone. If you don't want to see that, you can go ahead and skip to the time on screen where I'll be doing the actual restarting. That's where the fun stuff comes in. I am just annoying. Oh god, hello. I feel like there was something I've been meaning to tell you. Dearie, what was it? Oh well, it's gone. Why right now? Why right now? Genuinely, that's mean. Fauna, you're trying to get me not to do this, and you know what? It's not working. It's really not working. It's making it worse. Oh, she's in her house, is she? Amelia finally in her house. She isn't in there a lot because she knows I know where she lives and she's very scared, but I feel like I do owe her the decency of saying goodbye. Wait, her house looks like this? Why is it fucking ugly? I've never been inside before. What is this? Why does her house look like this? Genuinely, she's crafting. She's crafting. She's trying to tell me that she doesn't want to talk right now. I want to talk, Amelia. I'd like to say goodbye. Cuz what is it? You're watching me so intently, it's a bit unnerving. You know what? No. I don't want the recipe. I don't. I don't want your bullshit. Oh my god. She won't let me talk to her until I take her goddamn recipe. You know what? This is what she does. This is what she does. She gives me random shit I don't need. And then she forces me to take it until I'm allowed to talk to her again. I'm so disgusted by this woman. I really am. I wanted to love her. She's a supermodel. That's the thing. Like, I am jealous of her good looks. It's quite bad, but... This doesn't give you an allowance to go ahead and act the way you're acting. My goodness, the week is already more than halfway over. I swear time goes by faster and faster each week. Oh dear, is this what it means to be an adult? She said hashtag adulting. And the week's about to go by really fast, Amelia, okay? Calm down. You know what? This is good for you. You need this. You know who doesn't need this and is a victim of this crime? her. She was good to me. She's always been good to me. Poppy, I'm sorry. I will try and get you on the next one. I really will. I want to see you again, all right? I worked hard for you. I do want to see you again. Today's gonna be fun, Nutty. Yeah. Oh my god, going to the void sounds so fun. Genuinely, I'd like to see what it's like in there. Hey, so this is how it ends, huh? This is how it all goes down. This is the last we see of each other. And you're wearing the ugliest glasses I've ever seen. Well, you're up really sparky. Good morning. It's probably the weather, but wow, I feel like a million bells today, Sparky. You look like shit. No, you don't. I mean, like, you do, but you don't, all right? Underneath the glasses, you look great. The glasses are a problem, and you should see someone about that, all right? Please. I'm begging. The last meeting we have is her talking about herself. It's her talking about herself, and that's, you know what? I should have known. She's always been this way. Oh, also, <laughs> there's a campsite villager, which is probably the funniest way to die, honestly. Imagine going camping and the owner of the island just fucking deletes it and you're nothing now. That's hilarious. Who is it? Who's here? Okay, Poncho. I guess. I guess that's fine. All right. I feel not bad at all. I feel not bad at all. You know what, Poncho? You cause problems every day is what you do. Leave me alone. Okay. I don't want to say goodbye to Ioni because I'm going to try and find her in literally the next video, but I feel bad deleting the island without saying anything. <laughs> Genuinely, like, I feel like I need to say a goodbye, but at the same time, I'm not saying goodbye. I'm just saying see you later, you know? This is sad. This is deeply sad. Not sad enough for me to stop doing it, though. Ooh, bad time for this, isn't it? Wow, yikes, hee <laughs> hee, woo. I need to not deal with those emotions right now. I need to not feel guilty because I do, I do feel guilty. You know what I don't feel guilty about? Getting rid of Phil. I'm glad he's gone. Like, I'm sorry that Jacques has to take the brunt of this and has to like be there when the island goes down, but I am so glad that Phil is not here. Phil, I would not talk to Phil. I would not say goodbye to Phil, okay? I genuinely don't know how a person can do absolutely nothing and be completely fine with it. Like, get help, genuinely. Where is Ioni? Where is Ioni? Ignore the weeds. You know what? I've been letting this place go to ruin. I knew this was gonna happen. We all did. We all knew. If you've been here for a while, we all knew this was gonna happen. I'm sorry, but we did. She know. Why is CJ here? Go home. Go home to your boyfriend, please. I'm begging. He needs you right now. We don't. She is the hardest to leave. She is the hardest to leave. She know I love you so much. You have made such an impact on my life. I just cannot live with, you know, schedules or having to be somewhere at a certain time. I mean, if I wanted structure, I probably wouldn't be an inspiring pop star, okay? But I don't want to be late for dates with friends, so check out my little star clock. I gave that to you. Oh my god, it's so hard saying goodbye to her. She was such an icon. She know thank you for the memories. I love you so much. But the hardest part of this
face is leaving you. I love her so much. I love you, Shino. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you for the memories. I love you. Go be a pop star in the void, bitch. That's such a cool thing to do. I'm gonna miss her. God, I wish I could take her with. I really do. Where is Ioni? You know, you couldn't avoid death after all. You can't cheat it forever. Where is this woman? I have to say goodbye. I can't leave her without saying goodbye. That is such a dick partner move. Okay, all right. Bye, Jacques. Thanks. Yeah, I'm confused too. Oh. <laughs> Not right now. Not right now. Please not right now. Just like any time but right now, honestly. Just like don't hit me with that shit. It's trying to make me feel guilty. The game knows what I'm about to do. They really know. And they're not doing a good job at hiding the fact that they know, all right? Unfortunately, I'm a cold-blooded killer and I've done this before, so it's not a problem. Why is she outside of my house? Okay, you know what? Maybe I'm not as cold-blooded as I think I am, all right? This is gonna hurt a little. Honestly, a little bit. It'll hurt a little bit. But the adrenaline rush? Can't get it anywhere else. This is an ad for adrenaline, honestly, it really is. Where is she? Do you think she left? Do you think she's like on a plane somewhere? You think she's on her way out right now? You think she's meeting me at the new island? I don't know. It could be, listen. Listen, I'm no conspiracy theorist, but this is a little suspicious. I kind of feel like she left. Because we've talked about this before. You know, me and Ioni are pretty open with each other. I told her I would come back for her. Maybe she took my advice, I don't know. But if she did, that would mean it's time to go. Okay, goodbye Idyllico. It's been a good one. It really has. This island has meant a lot to me. Honestly, it really has. This was like the island where I met a lot of you guys, all right? Like, I hit 1k on this island, I hit 2k on this island. If I would've waited, I would've fucking hit 3k, but I'm an impulsive little bastard, so. <laughs> You know, why did I save the game? <laughs> I was really trying to be dramatic. I was like, one last save. I'll save the game one last time. And then we'll go and delete it. We'll go and delete my save file. No, bitch, you're wasting time is what you're doing. You're wasting fucking time. And I let it run through too anyway, even after I had that thought. What a smart bitch I am on this day. Is this where you go for this? I haven't done it in a minute delete software <laughs> nope delete save data right that would be the big button where it goes all right that is true wow wow i'm the smartest bitch on earth do i have save data in this many games there's something wrong with me dude there's something wrong with me and that is about to be sealed in by the fact that i'm going to click this button all right sayonara motherfuckers i'm getting out of here boom <laughs> Well, anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm scared. Why am I scared? Why am I scared after the fact? I was really just a shoe in and now I'm scared. All right, really good time for me to be terrified. Really fantastic, wonderful time. You ever get those heart palpitations where like your entire body feels like it's trying to do a little bit of a disco moment? Like I truly feel like that right now. I'm going a little insane. I'm going a little feral. I don't really want to see that Nook Inc thing pop up, but I know it's gonna and jump scare me. There that fucking is. Hey. Hey, Timmy and Tommy. I did it again. Are y'all starting to recognize it by now is like a 51st date situation finally happening like do you know me yet do you recognize the crimes that i've committed yet do you recognize that i should be in jail for what i've done i put 10 people into an endless void timmy do you care do you care at all have you ever cared for these villagers do you even have a sparkle of emotion in your eyes yet god damn every time they're the same every time they put me through the emotions that i don't want to feel i would read the dialogue except i don't want to i don't want to do a timmy and tommy voice all right i will die i will pass away live on camera and I don't want to do that. I really don't feel like it. I think that doesn't make a good video. I don't want to die on camera. You know what? Yeah, it sure is the first time that I'm applying for one of your fucking packages. It's not like I've done this a million times. It's not like this is a compulsion that I get constantly, all right? No. I'm completely brand new. You've never seen me before, Timmy, even though I've sold you a million dead bugs and fish. Okay. <laughs> So last time I did this, I fully put the wrong birthday in. So this time I'm gonna put the right birthday in or maybe I won't, you know what? You'll never know. That is the right birthday, thank God. But I just like scrolled past it with no issues, with no problems. I was like, yeah, yeah, that's correct, exactly. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Salem. Oh, don't worry, take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. I said I wasn't gonna do the voice, but I contradict myself constantly not my style. I don't know what my style is. All right, bitch, leave me alone. Leave me alone. I guess this is the closest to my hair, but I do in fact hate it. I do in fact hate the way it looks. 
I guess we have to live like this for a moment. We can time travel to get it pretty quickly though, right? The bed head, we can do it pretty quick. That's not bad. That's not too bad, all right? I have a plan. I'm gonna get through this. We all are. We're all gonna get through this as a team. Honestly, it's not as bad when I have the little uwu mouth. I don't know why. I don't know why that fixes it, but like it's not quite as bad. I feel a little bit better, but this outfit is just absolutely horrific. But I might get to reset again. You never know. You honestly never know what I'll decide to do. It's like opening a fortune cookie except every single outcome is just either horrific or very fun. I forgot you have to choose a map. I haven't done this in a hot minute. Three months. Yeah, that's a real long time to have an island. That's a real fucking long time. No, it's not. I can't do Southern Hemisphere. I've always wanted to do a Southern Hemisphere island, but I think I will literally just corrupt. I think my brain save file will simply just crash. I cannot do it, all right? I tried one singular time with an island I had for about two minutes. It didn't work, it sucked, it was awful. I hated it. You know, Southern Hemisphere besties, y'all are sick as hell, I love you, but it's not for me. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it. I don't care how you would do it, Timmy. I don't trust your judgment at all. Ooh. Okay, there's none where resident services is lined up correctly, so I guess, like, I kind of like this because it's a little bit off-center, but, like, there's a lot of river space and it's kind of split into three equal sections, but honestly, I wouldn't mind resetting again with that map. It's not bad, though. Like, I could make it work. I think I'm gonna do very minimal terraforming because what happened last time is I burnt myself out so bad with fucking terraforming because I did so much water work and I hate it. I hate it. I made my island impossible to navigate and I could not get myself out of my own hell. My hubris gets me into holes deeper than you've ever seen before, all right? And I'll probably do it again with this island, honestly, I won't lie to you. If you could only bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? Can I, can I take the time off the end of that? Cause it's only gonna be you and I on that plane, bub. I'm just saying, be careful. Probably like food though. Like you can't survive without food. What good would a bed do for me if I was dead? I mean, I guess final resting place, like a cute little coffin moment, all right? Maybe. You never know, as long as it's not the fucking camo cot. If I get the camo cot this time, I'm killing somebody. FBI, I don't mean that. I am just a very funky, fresh person, all right? You need to calm down. The chartered flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Great fantastic, wonderful. Get me the hell out of this little office. Where is this, by the way? This is obviously not on the island. Is this just like in America? Where is the airport? Where am I coming from? Where did I exist before this island? It says your current home, North America, which means canonically Joe Biden exists in Animal Crossing, right? I don't want to watch a complimentary video presentation. I've had enough. I've had enough. I don't want to see it. I've seen this so many times. Please. I'm begging you. What do we got? Come on, bestie. Give me something good. Give me something to believe in. Give me a better cause to lead. I'm begging. Okay. I like cherries. I like cherries a lot. Cherries are really good. That's not bad. I like the villager cherry too. What if we got cherry on an island with cherries? Then what? Then the second big bang happens. That's what happens. All right, new planet and shit. <gasps> Quinn? Quinn. Um, the issue here, the issue, the problem, the problem and the issue is actually that this man is standing right in front of me. You know what? He has so many hate crimes in mind and I just don't feel safe. Honestly, I don't. Now, I would maybe consider keeping this island if I liked the map a little bit more, but I don't. I don't love the map. I really don't. And also, like, my flowers are lilies, which are fine, but I've had lilies so many times as my flowers. I just don't want to do it anymore. I don't know. I don't really like this map that much. I don't really like it. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a big fan. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it again. Yep, sorry. Sorry. It had to be done. Honestly, you think you could get a restarting video from me where I didn't restart my island a million fucking times, all right? I need the perfect thing so that I can like wallow in my own self-pity for a minute when I regret deleting my other island and then later on I'll be like, actually, I'm glad I did it. I want theatrics, all right? I want drama. Speaking of drama, I don't think Quinn would be dramatic enough. I think Cobb would try to kill me, but not in a cute way, like not in a fun way. Quinn is too chill. Quinn is not who I need at this point. All right, Quinn is not who I'm looking for. You know, while I was doing this, I just had a memory pop up of an island I don't think I've ever mentioned on this channel before. I forget the name of it. I think it was something with Starburst involved. I was gonna do Candy Core. I just remembered that. It was like 2020. What the hell? I have forgotten about this for a solid like year. I did that, when did I do that? 
I wish I could find the name of it. I don't remember what the name was. That's how many times I've restarted my goddamn island. Genuinely, I think my eye color was wrong. I think I picked the wrong eye color last time. I'll have to review the footage and see if I did. I mean, maybe it's a good thing that I restarted then. This outfit is still heinous, but like it's almost better, I think, because I have like at least a little bit of a Charlie Brown look going on. Not really. Like, there's literally just yellow stripes. It doesn't even look like Charlie Brown. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, honestly. Sometimes I just say words and I just hope that it turns out okay. Just hope and pray. Okay. Okay. All right, I like this. It will give me a lot of space to do a good entrance with. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I say like, no terraforming, and then I'm like, ooh, a lot of space to do a big entrance with. Like a contradictory dumbass, I swear to God. I will never live this down. I will never live this contradictory hypocrite shit down. I'm a lot more excited about that island layout for sure. I think that's a lot better, honestly. I wasn't that pumped about the last one. I don't know why I just didn't restart immediately because that would have been the better idea, but sometimes you just gotta live and learn honestly. I'm glad I got to see Quinn though. I don't think I've seen her in real life before. I think she's great. Cobb is not. I would absolutely rip Cobb's throat out with my own hands if I had to do it to save myself, all right? And I'm not even that interested in being alive, but for Cobb, I would do it anyway. Are those apples? Uh, okay. All right, you know what? That's not a big deal. Honestly, that's not a big deal. Apples is like the least of my problems right now. Apples is like the least bad thing that could happen, honestly. But the most bad thing that could happen is probably about to- Oh my Jesus Christ. I- Um, um, Sylvia. Yeah, Sylvia. Purple ass Sylvia. Axel who is actively learning how to make clothes out of flesh. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna follow those two. Quite frankly, I really don't. They better give me something worth looking at, all right? I have just gone through the dialogue hell a third time. I need this to end. I need this to stop. I need you to get better at your job, Timmy and Tommy. What is this? Just like wondering what's the idea behind this? What is this? What is going on with this? This, however, I love this. This really has something to it. This has a bit of flavor. This has a little bit of spice. That island, I think, is the best we've seen yet. That is really good. I did kind of like the other island in the corner that had the resident services, like, right across, but I want a little bit more room, and it was just not there. It was just simply not there. So Better Call Saul ended last night. I can't talk about it at length because I am already feeling myself start to cry. It was perfect. I hate Vince Gilligan and I hate Peter Gold and I want both of them to go to hell. I hated everything about it. It was the best series finale I've ever seen. It was better than Breaking Bad. I hate everything. I hate being alive. I hate existing. I hope that every person involved with that loses power tonight and has to reset all of their clocks. Okay, that's the only Better Call Saul rant I'll do this video, I swear to God, because I cannot do it emotionally, alright? I will die. I will die. Really? Again? Again. A fucking gun. Nothing new, nothing changed. Same old shit. Please, please, please. <gasps> Deirdre and Rolled? No fucking way. No way. Oh my god. And I was just saying that was the best island we've gotten yet. And we have Deirdre. We have cottagecore lesbian bad bitch who I'm a little in love with. And Rolled, who is stupid as hell. I love him. He's so dumb. You know what? You know what? Tom Nook, you served a little bit on this. I won't lie to you. You did good. You did good. Go fuck yourself, honestly. I my power went out in the middle of my sentence. <laughs> just left me sitting in my closet in the dark, like I have been doing my whole life. Honestly, the timing was great. The timing was fantastic. It was really enjoyable. It was an enjoyable experience for me. Hello. Are you guys gonna get mad if I talk to you instead of Thomas? If I say hello? We're finally here. I wonder what the guys want to tell us. I wonder if it's important. Probably is. It's not. I know more than them combined. All three of them. If you put all three of their brains into a blender, my brain would still be bigger. I've done this a million times before. These three jokers, this is their first time doing this. Rolled. Orientation time. You ready to get oriented? You look ready. Go show the staff how ready you are. Don't pump me up right now. I don't want to be pumped up. I want to be chill and cool and mysterious. Like somebody reading a book at a concert. All right, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Deirdre here? Yes, she is. And I see her and I see her very much and I love her and I'm in love with her and I'm very in love with her. Hi, Deirdre. Why is it always the starters? I need to keep my eyes on the prize, okay? I need to stop with this. I need to stop. Because last time this happened, it went horribly. So you know what, Deirdre? No. No, we're not gonna do this. We're not gonna do this little dance again. And how about rolled? Look at him, he's stupid. Oh my god, I love him. He's so fucking dumb. I just wanna squeeze his little head and pop it like a balloon. I love 
love you, Rolds. I love you so much, Rolds. He's so cute. He's perfect. I don't care what Timmy's saying right now. I don't give a shit. All right, I don't care. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. Pristine and lovely. Pristine and lovely. There's weeds everywhere, sir. There's probably a couple rotting corpses in the back. I don't know. I don't know if pristine and lovely is quite the right word. I think that you're talking shit. I think you're spewing shit. That's what I think. Personally, I don't believe you. Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. Right. Right. That's what they do. They help you with everything. They help you build houses. That's what they do. Right? Right? They give you all the materials to build your own house. They make you beautiful meals. They help you with everything. That's what they do. That's what Nook Inc. does. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that sounds really great. That sounds like an awesome some deal, Tom. You're a cunt, you're going to hell. I forget about monetization every once in a while. I really do. I forget that I say words. I'm sorry. I apologize. Tommy or Timmy would be happy to provide you with your tent, hmm? Tommy or Timmy? It's Timmy and Tommy. Get a grip on reality, I swear to God. I feel more comfortable every time I restart being rude to you because you just get worse every time. I swear. I'm gonna give Deirdre the best house ever. No, I need to stop doing this. I need to stop doing this. I did this with Phoebe. I need to stop. I need help. I need to get help for this. This is a real problem. That's a good spot for me, though. You know what? I'll give Rolds and Deirdre equally good spots because I love them both. They are absolutely adorable, but in like a normal way. Like, we're not gonna date. There is Rolds. There is Rolds. I wish this island had oranges on it so I could do the orange head thing, you know? I love him. He's so cute. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Salem? Sure. That's nice, Rold. That's real nice. I love it. If his little empty brain wants it to be there, it can be there. I can tell that's what he wants. I can tell that's what would make him happiest, so I'm just gonna go with it. I wonder how that Deirdre is doing. She might be having as much trouble as I was, so maybe you should go see if she needs help. Don't tell me what to do. I wish there was an option to turn off the tutorial and you could just, like, sell your town like a new leaf. That would be so nice. Look at her. Nope. You're- wait, I got it, don't tell me. You're Salem, right? See, I told you I had it. I'm Deirdre, I gotta tell ya. I'm excited to do this whole island thing, whatevs. You already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it, and that's where it landed. So, now this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far I could throw the stick, but I'm liking this. What if we did you one better? What if we did you a solid? What if we HGTV'd your ass right now, Deirdre? Look at that giant-ass grasshopper just, like, having a ball. Honestly, I didn't realize they were that big. That motherfucker's huge. Holy shit. I'm gonna just collect this stick while I'm here. I know I'm gonna need these guys. I can't. Nook Inc. is silencing me. Nook Inc. is silencing me. It's insane. They're doing it on purpose. They don't care about their residents at all, all right? They don't want me to pick up a stick. It's a stick. It's not gonna fucking kill me. It's not gonna harm me in any way. All right, there's no legal obligations here. Let me pick up my stick. This is my goddamn house. You know what? I've been complaining about this hair the whole time, but the funny thing is, the real funny haha -ha thing is, my hair isn't curled right now, so it looks exactly like this. Ugh. I should curl my hair. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Um, actually, I did. I did, actually. You told me to go check on them, Tom. You know full well that I did all of the work yet again. Again. As always, I always do, don't I? Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business, like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes. Oh, I wonder who's gonna pick those up. Why am I the only one who gets singled out from the group? My whole life, it's been like this, all right? You know what, Tom? You know what, Tom? I wanna go with the group. Ah, Salem, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly 10 tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So when you find one lying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the apple-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real apples. You know what's funny about that? I did try to use Y to pick them up. I did. I really did. I tried it with my whole chest, and nothing happened. You know why? Because you and your team, you have the richest sense of justice, all right? Really, you do. You have a fantastic sense of right and wrong. God. Let me get my fucking apples, too. Why not? Let me get my fucking apples while I'm here, because I know he's gonna ask for them. I know this guy's tricks inside and out. He thinks I don't. He thinks he's in the clear. And you know what? He's not. He'll never be in the clear again. I will harass him his entire life. I have no plans. No! What the fuck? 
that was really sad. That made me very, very deeply sad. I hated that, genuinely. That was a very humbling experience for me. I think you need six apples. I'm pretty sure. I got 10 apples last time I restarted and I was really mad about it because I had wasted four apples. So you know what? I think I'm just gonna get six. And if he gets pissed at me, he gets pissed at me, all right? Fuck you. Allow me to lighten your load. You'll never do that. You'll never lighten my load. You don't care about me. Stop pretending you fucking care about me, Tom Nook. I swear to God. You've never cared. Not once. Tom Nook and I are like bitter divorcees, I swear. We still see each other's on holidays and like kids' birthdays, but it's never the same. And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like apples, they smell like apples, and they even taste like apples. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine apples, so will you collect six of them for me? Oh, what's this? You've already collected enough apples for everyone, haven't you? What? What are they doing back there? Why were they on a little walkie? Are y'all like in cahoots? Are you in cahoots? Are you planning something? Are you planning my demise rolled? I can turn my back on you immediately. Don't worry, buddy. Stay on my good side, I swear to God. Tom Nook always expects less of me. And the thing is, I will always give him more just to spite him, just to spite him because I'm a spiteful person. You know, this entire channel was created out of spite. That is a true story. I love how it's suddenly dark. I love how we just like wasted three hours just vibing, just like having a blast, having a kiki. Good for us, I guess. Now is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. You tell me you brought no poppers, Tom. Not even a little bit of molly, not even a bit of LSD, really. Seriously, you drop the ball every time, I swear. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm, oh ho. He thinks that's funny. He thinks he's funny. He thinks he's so funny. He has to laugh at his own joke because he knows nobody else well. Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally vision, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into- I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm? But what should we call it? Okay, so I have three names in mind and I cannot pick one for the fucking life of me. So I'm gonna put them into a random number generator and go ahead and see what it is because I can't make decisions. I will never make a decision. All right, I'm non-binary. It's not gonna happen. In the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, hmm? So take a little time to think and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. Hey Siri, pick a number between one and three. Three. Y'all are gonna be fucking mad at me. <laughs> Listen, okay, listen. I am only a human, all right? I am only a person with flesh and bone. I am only a singular person, and I cannot not give in to my urges constantly. Yes, I'm naming this after the My Chemical Romance song like a fucking idiot, but isn't this entire video an idiot move? Isn't it? What did you expect from me at this point? I will not be telling you the other two options because they were really good, and I know I will get a bunch of shit for not naming my island them, so you get what you get. Y'all are shit at naming things. Even you, Deirdre, that was not good. I'm sorry. I love you dearly. <laughs> dearly. But that was not that good. That was not great. That was not fantastic. I think you could do better. I hate being the way that I am. <laughs> it's annoying. It's deeply annoying. I have to live like this, alright? You have to deal with this twice a week. I have to deal with this every day, every hour. Even when I'm sleeping, my dreams are weird, okay? You don't know the half of it. Resident representative of Death Wish. Great. Thank you. You know, this would have been insane in 2006, alright? I would have been very popular on MySpace. Don't deny it. Salem, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors. I don't speak for them. They have their own autonomy, all right, Tom? They speak for themselves, but you know what? A word or two. Fuck you. I genuinely sound like I would be popular on MySpace. I really do. You know what? This is who I am. This is deeply who I am. Annoying. That's it. That is the entire thing. I am annoying. Hmm, so we've settled on a name for our island and we selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast with apple juice. Not even apple cider. Just apple juice. Just juice from the apples. Y'all can't do shit. Y'all can't even cook, I swear. I'm really happy with this though, okay? Cheers! Why only one? Why not three? Look at him! Go crazy, go stupid, rolled. Go insane. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, there he goes. 
I feel like I'm on vacation, but we actually get to live here, buddy. I'm not gonna do the stutter. I used to have a stutter, all right? I'm not gonna do the fucking stutter. We all just met, but chilling by the fire like this makes it feel like we've been best buds for ages, whatevs. I've never settled an island before. Death wish. This is gonna be rad, whatevs. I knew you would like that. I knew you would be a punk bitch. I'm doing it. I do it constantly. Every day I do this, genuinely. I cannot help but fall in love with a sisterly villager, all right? Especially her. Can I sit by her? <gasps> We're so cute. Hi, Tom. Can I go to bed? Can I get out of here? Can I get the hell out of here? If that's camo, Tom Nook, all right? I have put it out in the open. I said to you, I am gay. I said this to you. You know this. If you gave me a camo cot, I'm gonna take that as a hate crime. I am. So you know what? You better watch your goddamn back. Also, I'm not gonna acknowledge the outfit simply because it was something I would wear when I first came out, all right? Don't look at me. Do not look me in the eye. Why did I put my tent there when there's a tree right there? That was actually kind of a dumbass decision. Why did I do that? Hey, guys. Does anybody know why I do the things that I do? Just wondering. Just genuinely wondering just like asking i would love to know also why is my tent different than everybody else's again i'm being singled out always Ooh, a little white radio okay i love the look i really do let me just like move that around great fantastic neutrals three two one hey yeah oh my god oh my god thank the lord okay this island is gonna be great this island is gonna be fan fucking tastic because i didn't get a camo cot it's still green but like it is a solid color i'm pumped okay i deserve this rest my head for a little while i'm getting sleepy I am tired. I had to cancel stream last Friday because I had genuinely been sleeping all day and then when I woke up I wanted to sleep more and I was like, I will not be entertaining at all. I felt so bad. Genuinely, I felt awful. There he is. Naked ass man in my dreams. It, okay, okay. If I told somebody that I saw a naked dog in my dreams, they would probably think about 30 things and all of them needed to be reported to the police, okay? This is weird. This is weird shit. You know what? Maybe they did give us Molly. <laughs> Maybe there was a popper involved. You never know. So, looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the way right, Daddy-o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You've got to make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world is squares but without some pals. He dated Gerard Way once. Yeah, man, friends are where it's at. Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself, my bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up, that rap I gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll take this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pals sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool, when you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that island life and I'll catch you later. I wonder how much my KK voice has changed the three times I've done this because I don't remember it ever. I genuinely have never remembered a voice I do except for Shino's. Oh god, he's banging on the door. He's banging on the fucking door again. He's coming for me. He has a knife. He has a knife. He's coming for my throat. I did name this island Death Wish. You know I'm not smart, okay? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't have to be smart. I'm cool. That's not true either. I don't have to be smart. I have a capture card and a microphone. He was hiding behind the tree. He was ready to jump scare me, you know? He was the one who came up with the idea for the taking of Deborah Logan because he wanted to do it himself. I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. That's what I did before the stream. <laughs> I needed it though. Honestly, I needed it. I really did. I just had a molly trip with a naked dog in it. All right, I needed it. I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes. I love how he just gives you a phone. I bet there's malware on it. I bet there's spyware. I bet the camera never turns off. I bet it's like the talking Angela rumor from the 2000s. I know what you're doing, Tom. Look at him. He looks so proud. You bitch. I have used this thing a million goddamn times. I am tired. It's not a novelty anymore, Tom. I'm exhausted. I've had enough. I could just bring an iPhone and it would work a lot better, buddy. Have one of my own. Unfortunately, I'm chronically online now because of it. It's an unfortunate thing. Don't give these things out to people. They will stay on Twitter for six hours a day. Well, I suppose figuring out your own way around new surroundings can be a fun adventure too, hmm? No. Actually, I've been left to figure things out on my own this whole time, Tom. You do nothing for me. You do not a thing. Itemized bill time, bitch. All right, you know what? I've seen enough bills the past couple days. I don't need to see another. Just like fax it to me. I don't know. AOL it to me. I don't need to do this. You know, okay, if you would let me sell my town and let me take bells with me, I would have more than enough bells to build my house again. All right, I would have more than enough. So I think you need to just learn. I think you need to get better at this. All right, you need to 
to get better. I'm in such a mood today. I was watching EJ Play's co-working stream, I think is what you would call it. I forget the name. I forget everything. I don't have a brain cell left inside of me. They all burned at Chernobyl, but I want to do that so bad at some point, like film a video while I'm live, but I think that would probably turn out so shitty because you would be able to see all the cracks and holes and everything I do, but honestly, like, that stream was so fun and EJ was very entertaining, so now, like, I have the energy to be a bitch. I really do. I love EJ. EJ's channel link will be down below. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Death Wish and a client of Nook Inc. He's emo too now. I make him say it. You know what? He has to deal with the shame too. Fuck you, Tom. All right. We did it. Holy shit. We did it. Welcome to Death Wish, y'all. Rest in fucking peace to Idyllicobe, honestly. I'll miss the girly. I will. She was great. She was fun. But our first task is gonna be to find Ione. I'll see you next time to do that. Thank you all for sticking along with me for Idyllicobe's entire journey. Not to be sappy again, but it was a great time for me. It was great. It was really fun. And I hope you'll stick along for this one too. Have a safe day. I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. I will see you next time. Stay safe. Stay wonderful. Good. Bye. <laughs>